our land, our future, we are Generation Restoration. That's the slogan of this year's World Environment Day, to raise awareness about drought and desertification. The UN says at least 40% of the world's land is degraded. But another part of drought is uh, the flip side of it. So the amount of rain that's occurring is the supply. Um, but the demand from people is a big part of what puts us into drought conditions. Um, so when you have more and more people trying to draw on a water source at the same time, when you have that water source decreasing, that's a real clash that occurs. That clash is already happening in much of the world with its growing population and demand for more agriculture. Farmers are left to rely on increasingly scarce water resources. Drainage water recycling is when we collect water that is coming out of pipes from underneath um, corn and soybean fields, so agricultural fields. Um, we're collecting that in a pond, a wetland, some other reservoir. So we fill that pond up with water in the spring when we have excess water and we store it there until later in the summer when it's hot and dry and the crop needs water. But large storage reservoirs can be expensive and only serve as a temporary solution. In the meantime, the natural water cycle is disrupted when people alter ecosystems through practices like grazing animals, growing crops, and urbanization. When you damage the soil, when you get rid of the plants that are normally found in an area, you actually um, kick off a cycle where the waterfall decreases more and more because you have fewer and fewer plants. So less water means less plants, less plants means less water um, as rainfall. And then you can get other things happening with the damage to the soil so that it's difficult for the recovery of the ecosystems to happen. That's why it's crucial to use sustainable methods while proactively restoring ecosystems. Environmentalists say extreme droughts and water shortages will only get worse with climate change. It is Tian Shan, CGTN, Los Angeles.